I'm Miranda. I am the uh, manager here at Sydney's um, Supervised Injecting Centre, and I'm just going to give you a walk through the space here. So, this is the injecting room itself, which is quite a clinical space. And over here we've got Will, who's one of our senior clinical nurse consultants. Quite a roomy space, very clinical focus here, because the whole point in here is about clean injections, advice about how to inject more safely, and the nurses are always present in this space because we need to supervise and monitor in case someone has an overdose. We provide all of the equipment. The clients bring the drugs in themselves, but there's a whole choice of equipment behind Will here, um, which they ask us for, and that's just a nice little point of exchange with the clients when they come in. So there's a, a spoon for mixing in the sterile syringes. There's different varieties depending on what people need. Alcohol swabs to clean and prepare, prepare the skin. Sterile water for injection and a tourniquet. They come through to stage three here, which is really an aftercare area and an incredibly important area because up to this point the focus has been on the client wishing to inject the substance that they've brought in and which of course they are dependent on. This space is where somebody like Will in his specialised role will really make an effort to engage with the client. So they've now injected, they're now feeling normal, they're now feeling settled. Um, this is where they're more likely to talk to us about other issues and complications in their lives that we can assist with. The clients then complete their visit by walking through that grey door there and out into Kellett Street at the back um, so that we have a nice orderly one-way flow through, through the building. Um, my name's Kevin, Kevin Street. I'm a former client here of the Medical Supervised Injection Centre. I stopped using these facilities to inject about three and a half, four years ago now, but I maintain a relationship with them because I'm a member of the Consumer Action Group. This centre saved lives. It's been open for 21 years and not one single person has died. If you looked at what was going on around King's Cross before this place was open, there were ambulance call out all over the place. People were dying from, from drug overdoses. This place gives people a safe, clean place to inject their drugs because they're going to inject their drugs regardless of you know where they are. So this gives them a clean, safe place to do it, clean equipment. And intervention if there's any sign of overdose whatsoever. You're made to feel quite welcome, even though you are you are using drugs, and that can be a very sort of you can be in an uncomfortable space when you're actually taking your drugs and, and to have someone else witness it, that can be a little bit sort of off putting as well. But um, after a while the nurses sort of just tend to, you know, be in the background. You know they're there, you know they they'll save your life if need be. Um, but they're also there for a chat if you want to have a talk about anything. They were, they were available. When I walked in and said, um, I spoke to uh, one of our nurses here, I said, oh, look, I'd like to get into treatment, and he made some some appointments for me, uh, followed up with me in, in the next couple of days to see if I kept those appointments, and um, I just took it from there. I could, if I hadn't walked in that day and asked for treatment and been given such a service that I was, I'd probably still be coming here to inject.